subscribe and uh, just let me know what you want to hear next because um, I love doing this music thing I just it's my life um, anyways um, talking about Stevie Wonder's tune today can't put it in the hands of fate it's a great song with a great message it's a shame that Stevie's got to come talk to us about racial injustice in 2020 but it is what it is thank you Stevie for your service because it's much needed in these times um, Anyways, let's get to playing the thing. Here's the chord chart for the part I was just playing. And I wanted to talk today mostly just about like how to play chords. I have some students that are, um, I don't want to say they're struggling. It's new to them to do this like kind of coordination. So um, I thought I'd come on here and add this as kind of a supplement to what they're doing but also as something that anybody else who's out there who's studying and maybe learning how to play chords and groove um, can learn how to do this stuff. So we're doing basic bar chords for most of this groove. Um, one, just to keep it simple, and two, because they just sound great. I mean, I don't think, I think there's like a lot of guitar teachers who try to break people out of the bar chord box, and in doing so, they might discourage them from playing these chord shapes. But the reason that they're like so often used by guitar players is that they just sound good and there's like you don't really need a further explanation than that sometimes you know so it just sounds good so that said um here's the changes it's c sharp major i do that here but we're going to discuss maybe playing it in two places so that you know where the chord tones are for when you maybe take a solo later. So, uh, first one, A string, fret 4, and then 6, 6, 6. It's this shape up in the corner, starting with your first finger on fret 4. We're going to do most of this with primarily two shapes. Here's the second chord. Sharp major, so that's four, six, six, five, four, four. Then it's that same chord shape, but we're just going to move it down two frets. So two, four, four, four. Maybe you can hit the two on the top here. Some people that's hard, but that's really the important part is these four notes, I think. And then this one. 
same shape again. Two, four, four, three, two, two. Now the tricky part, I don't think it's playing the chords. I think it's playing the groove. So here's what's happening with that. I'm playing, the first thing you want to do is like get like a good solid, like kind of like a, like a drum beat just with your pick. So I tell people to start like this, like no chords. With a metronome is best. I have a little bit of reverb and delay on there. Let's turn that off. start there. Then you can just add in the chords. I start there, right? Now, that's the tricky part though, is because you want to mute and then be able to kind of like squeeze this chord out in your drum beat anytime, you know? So this is like kind of motor that keeps running and then this is going to be the control of like what is vibrating and what is muted. from that, you know? You can really do like a lot with playing with that and with practicing. A lot of people I think maybe just hold that out too, no too much. That's good too. Um, and then something that I see a lot is like Like that's good too. It's just not exactly what this style is and I think that if you can get this Just that feel get a lot closer to like playing what you want to play and then even if you want to like play more reserved it's still kind of there and then there's more feel to it you know so I think that's a really really important part now I think if you're looking for like solo notes I'm just going to go ahead and break those down right here, just a few of them, just because they're right here. If you take just the notes from all of these chords and then play them just on these three strings, fourth string, third string, second string, you're going to get a really cool voice lead pattern. Here's your first chord, second chord, third chord. So you get this really cool thing that happens at this note stays the same the first two and then this and then you can keep leading that down right then the middle voice is chromatic and then the second string it does kind of like a scale stuff that you can do with that, um, especially like when you're playing.
lot there that you can work with. And then if you tie that in with a pentatonic. From the sixth fret. And then lean on this note, first finger on the third string. That'll give you like a lot of solo stuff to work with. Then I like to also look at this voicing up here. Putting like a seven chord in there. So it's the same chord from before. Nine, 11, 11, 10, nine, nine. And then I'm using this chord. If you know a C7 chord, it's that same shape. So like three, two, three, one. But then to move it around. So if you move it so that it's like 11, uh, 10, 11, 9. So you don't. And same thing. That kind of gives you a little bit more and maybe gives you this. Gives you kind of a bluesier note to work with too, which is fun. You know, so. should give you a lot to work with on this tune hopefully that's been helpful for you um, if you like this video please show it by liking the video and leaving me a comment and hitting that subscribe button and let me know what other songs you want to see me cover here I'd love to do some more for you guys also if you want to learn more of this in depth go visit me on my website musicmakerlessons.com there's a link in the description um, and I'd love to see you out there all right thanks again for uh, for joining me today on Warmoth Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow, 335 Thursday as always. And uh, yeah, have a great day.